right, what's up guys? Welcome back to Unbreakable Grind. It's your guy CJ back with another video, man. So I just had a realization myself. I'm always learning, I'm always inquiring, I'm trying to learn as much as I can all the time. And I wanna share what I, I wanna share my insights with you guys so you can take advantage of them. All right, so one thing you hear when you're, t when you're talking investing is diversify, 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 diversify. All right, you wanna diversify at all of your assets so that you, you know, there are multiple reasons, we'll get to that, but pretty much you hear that you wanna diversify, all right? I've been really thinking about that for a while, like, huh, diversification, some you always hearing, what are the benefits, all right? The obvious benefits is, are, are the, some benefits, ah, some benefits are obvious, man, and I'm not cutting that out either. I leave all the mistakes in my video, all right? I'm human. So, some freaking, uh, some freaking uh, benefits are obvious, all right? You wanna diversify because you don't want all your eggs in one basket, all right? If I have a, a million dollars and I have it all in houses and houses go down, I'm screwed. If I have it all in real estate, real estate goes down, I'm freaking pretty much lost my money. Of course, as long as I can keep the properties and don't sell, it should go back up inevitably, but you get the point, okay? If I have uh, all of my money, in laptops, and laptops become worth zero, now I have zero dollars. You get the point. All right, now, that's the obvious side of diversific diversification. But that's not the part that's actually the beautiful. That's not the beautiful part of it to me. What's beautiful as I started to ponder on this, and let me get this out the screen. I had a previous video where I showed you how much I made during the pen, uh, the, you know what? <laughs> uh, and I'm, I pretty much went in one year made more than 170 grand over uh, two portfolios with pretty much no investment experience in stocks, nor did, you, I, nor did I even need it uh, in that situation. But with that being said, regardless, why is diversification important? All right. Diversification allows you to make money regardless. I, it took me a second to really understand this because no one told me this. It just hit me. Okay, I was sitting and I was kind of investing in some stocks and the stocks were up, then they were going down and then I was seeing people say, you know what, commodities are up, so go get some commodities. And I'm like, you know, then the stocks were, the commodities were down and the freaking stocks were back up. And also you have real estate, so they're like, ah, the real estate's crashing, the real estate market's crashing. So they're like, ah, screw it, sucks if you're in real estate. Then they say the real estate markets should go up, but then stocks are down and commodities are going up and then commodities are going up and real estate's going up and real. So long story short is I kind of realized, just look at any stock trend, all right? All healthy companies are gonna be going up. Okay, <laughs> and this, I'm oversimplifying this on purpose, all right? I'm oversimplifying this, all right? I'm oversimplifying it because most of the time, it's being overcomplicated, okay? It's being overcomplicated. Because sometimes you can add a lot of philosophy to the stock market, okay? And it, it, there's no way to dissect truly what's gonna happen, all right? But one thing you can see very obviously, it's very obvious. Take a healthy company, and regardless of if it's going up or going down, it eventually just goes up. It's an obvious trend, all right? I, I, I can take any company. Actually, let me just do an experiment. Let me take, I, let me see if I have that screen that I just had up. Screw it, I don't have it up right now. All right, I was gonna do an experiment. Take any healthy company. For instance, Facebook. I made a good amount of money off Facebook. Pretty much Facebook is just going up. And even if it dips significantly to where it looks like it's going down, probably just gonna keep going up. What's my point? Well, I'm not gonna get to the point yet. Let's take a commodity, gold. Let's look at gold. Gold is going down. Let's take a look at the trend, all right? Take the commodities, go look at a trend. Probably going down, right? Oh, well, if, if, it, if there's a chance it could be going down. Look at it as a whole. Just going up. It's pretty much just going up, all right? Look at real estate. Regardless of if real estate is high or low, you know where it's going, up. Sounds stupid. I know it sounds like some YOLO, some YOLO Wall Street bets type stuff, but this is the general truth. And there's, there's, a, there's a lot of complexity behind why this is true, but you can just look at the trends and see that it's true. But why is this important? <laughs> because
Because if you diversify, you can make money in every single market condition. Every single condition that happens within, within these, you can always take advantage of the most opportunities. So let's say for instance, right, just to keep things simple, we're diversified into three, uh, into three investment types. We've got, a com we've got commodities, we've decided to put um, a, a hundred, let's say 100,000, we decided to put 100,000 in commodities, 100,000 in stocks, and 100,000 in real estate. Let's say they're all equal. They're all, they're all equal, right? We look at a trend, they're all, uh, they all started at the same value, just to keep it simple. In real life, what happens is regardless of, regardless of whatever we want to call it, all right, stocks are going to go up or down, real estate's going to go up and down, the commodities are going to go up and down. And you know all you're doing as a, a diver person that's diversified into these markets? All you're doing is this. This is what it feels like to be extremely successful and to have a, to have a good amount of money, which I, gonna, which I show you in other videos, how to actually get the money, how to get to the point where you have enough money to invest so that you can get to where you take advantage of these structures that exist that are totally unfair if you're on, one, if you're on a certain side of the uh, spectrum. So I'm trying to show you guys how to get on the right side of that. But get, if you're diversified and you've, got the, and you've got your money equally distributed, let's hypothetically say, let's say stocks go up and the housing market goes down. Just a, you know, a, a realistic scenario that can happen. Huh, did you lose money or make money? Because your real estate went down, but your stocks went up. So let's say your stocks doubled. Now you've got 200,000 in stocks. Let's say your real estate halved. You've got 50,000 in real estate. Did you make money or lose money? Well, technically, if, the, if, if you double in the stocks, you have more money, that's obvious. So I've, I've got, if I had 100K, I've got 200K. I have to 50K, so yeah, I, I made some money. But really, what if, you were, but what if you were only in real estate? If you were only in real estate, you just lost. That's one important part of this. If you were only in real estate, you just lost. There's nothing you can do about it. Yep, real estate went in half, lost. That was all I had, I'm not diversified, that's it. The important thing about the diversification is that when your real estate drops and your stock go up, you're happy because you understand that I've got, a, I've got this massive increase in stocks and real estate is at an all time low, which means I have a huge opportunity to sell out of my stocks and buy very large amounts of real estate. Do not let this pat, do not let this just graze over your head. This is freaking million dollar. This is gonna continue to make me an incredibly large amount of money. I'm gonna this, I'm giving you guys, I'll give you guys strategy. Simple, layman term strategy. If you're diversified, something's always gonna increase. One diversification, uh, one asset class will increase and some will simultaneously decrease. You're, gonna, you, you're never gonna see everything just stay stagnant. Some's gonna be increasing, some's gonna be dis decreasing. You got commodities up, you got stocks up, you got housing market up, right? And what happens is you just move the money. You can take the same money and just move it and make money a lot. <laughs> Stocks go up to double, housing market halves, cash out of your stocks, take that 100K, buy housing, buy real estate. You bought it with free money you just made. Your 100K made you 200K in stocks. You took the 100K, re-diversified, bam. Spent the 100K in the housing, and the housing goes right back up. Do you remember I told you it goes up? Even if it's going down, it always goes up. There are exceptions, but healthy assets go up. Healthy companies and stocks will go up. Commodities will continue to go up. 
It's kind of obvious. No one told me this. This is the, these are the little nuggets that turn you into a, a monster when it comes to earnings. These are the little nuggets. No one told me this. I haven't seen this on YouTube. But this is what's important. What's important is that you understand that if how, when housing goes back up, this is, remember, you, we just, let's continue the scenario. Housing goes back up, you put 100K in it when it was low because you got it from your stocks. And, you, you, and there are rules to this, okay? You, gotta, you have to hold stocks at least a year so that they become investments so you can, you can cheat the taxes, all that stuff. But that's getting more complicated. It's the, on a simple, in a simple, to keep it simple, the stocks went up, the freaking housing went down, you took all your earnings from the stocks, you bought the real estate. The real estate went back up because it's gonna always go freaking back up. And guess what? You've cashed out, you've won. You've won. What if the freaking commodities go up and the stocks go down? Now you freaking sell out of your commodities, you buy stock, the stock is gonna inevitably go back up, and then you won. Well, what if the commodities go back down? You keep doing the same thing. Do you want... <laughs> Look, man, I'm really starting to understand how straightforward it is to do extremely well you have to do the beginning right the beginning is the most important piece the rest of this is not quite it not that easy um it's not that easy if you do the beginning i mean i'm sorry <laughs> the rest of this is not that hard man the beginning is is is, is quite quite hard and quite difficult that's why you want to follow some guaranteed strategy like i preach on my channel all right I know I'm gonna help somebody if they pay attention. I know I am. And I'm gonna be having, if you have questions, man, hit me up, I'm telling you. When you see me out here, spending and splurging on money because I'm not spending, I'm, I'm writing all, everything off on my freaking taxes and I'm freaking buying high, I'm, I'm freaking uh, selling low and buying high and moving money and, and getting everything for free. And my mind is free. Any money I make that I didn't work for is free. All of this freaking stock money is free, okay? From where I come from, that's free. If you didn't do anything for it, it's free. I don't care if my money made it, it's free to me. And that's my point, is I'm about to make a lot of free money, a whole lot. And I want you guys to get where you can make a lot of free money too. The way I see it, I'm freaking 28, so that means what, I'm dead in 50 years? I have no reason at all to hold this information. I could care less. Okay, if I can have some guys sitting on a freaking yacht with me, self-made millionaires, and I gave them strategy, and they're, they're able to give that to their families, and their families are able to live an abundance life, and able, I'm able to see them their kids smile, see my kids smile, and see everybody win, well, that's what I wanna do. I'm not trying to freaking be better than you guys. I'm trying to win. I could care less if I'm better than you guys. I want to win. All right. So with that being said, take the information. I'm gonna. I'm giving it to you raw. If you like the content, please subscribe, like the video, hit the bell if you want to get the notifications to see the video immediately. And with that being said, I'm out. Peace.